Okay, that's my turn done. Also, uh, you're pretty sure the crossbows and the murder holes are back online. That's no good for me. All right. I think I'm going to sling a spell at this one over here. Of course. Yeah. Uh, all right. The siege is not going well. They are strictly better than us. Eh. Honestly, they're veterans, just giving them such a silly edge. Uh, precisely. Even now, they're, they're so very much our equals. There's just flat more of them. If only Max was here. <laughs> Drug. The way they're rolling their D12s, it wouldn't matter. It's a shame I didn't roll in the cannon crew. <laughs> Bring them in next. <laughs> <laughs> Just go back and go, we need a siege crew any in town. <laughs> I mean, they're still saved on a drop box somewhere. Uh... Alright, who's next? Uh, I think I have a cunning new strategy for Caesar. It's going to be oh called Refreshing Flight and then Running. <laughs> Uh, can I run Caesar. less than eight? Yeah, can I run less than eighteen? Because that takes me off the map. Actually, Caesar, you're one of the few people who get behind the people in the murder halls. This is very true, but that would also be incredibly foolish. And we've seen what happens to fools. I believe yes. I was in that situation before with uh, ranged <laughs> characters chasing me down. Uh, I'm going to choose to at least not be in the line of upcoming fire. And then also land, if you'll allow that. Alright. Uh, which does bring up mind, what are the paladins going to do? Their well, resolve is not quite as firm as it was when they showed up. This is incredible. Yeah, that's incredibly fair to say. <laughs> well, wouldn't they be able to uh, heal a uh, character by rallying them? Uh, yes, yes, they can. I guess the only question is, they do still they still have white have... magic? Yeah, do they actually have like an additional D8 bonus to their magic? I've been assuming so for the laser beams, because it'd be very foolish of them to have that, but not. Yeah, but you are also using an upgraded character for that, so. Uh, pick your choice. Do they have 1d8 or 2d8? Um, they do not have leadership for rally, but they... I think... Uh, need to look at that spell again. What are we trying to figure out? Um, magic... Uh, go ahead and have it. Go ahead and have the leadership. Okay, so I will go ahead and try to use a white magic rally on Nefiru. I will All ready right. it, and then cast it. That uh, looks pretty good. You don't need to ready a rally. It's, I think it's just... Well, a... I have to ready a spell. No, not for no. white well, magic well, rally. White magic rallies, they just no, give you just extra... Rally. Um, they give you extra bennies. You know, one of them is to heal her. Okay, then. So he will try to rally you and then guard. Uh, right, so, so he'll heal two things off of you. 
because that's reeling, and then I can only heal the hurt off, and the hurt's boring. Yep. That actually brings up a good point. They could try to rally themselves to get off their own hurt. So uh, let's go ahead and start doing some of that. Yeah. Uh, one of them will no longer be hurt. It will also guard. Uh, so that covers Caesar and the Paladins. What about the rest of everything? Did everyone else go? I think I've already taken my turn, unless it's a new round. All right. So, murder holes. Uh, aiming at Nefaro. Actually, yeah. I, I guess that's a good question. Did your attack this round lead to you being reeling? Uh, I thought he got... did. Uh... Yeah, it was a counter. Okay. Did, but he got rallied by his uh, ally. Yeah. So I'm going to have to dodge this. Dodge. Once they're D12s, didn't roll ridiculous. Second one. Let Three me see points. my melee favorite Four. use here. With my long sword, so I'm going to well no, that's a dodge. What's my dodge favorite use? I'm gonna make it against ranged. Alright. Oh well. And that Okay, that's three plus one, four points of damage. You want to try to soak? Them. I soaked one of them, so I'm now reeling, hurt, afraid, and injured. Yep. So no change from last round. Okay. Um. Well, the last uh, murder hole is going to hold his fire um, and leave you to the guys on the ground. Uh, guard and swing. Six. Actually, six and four. Wait, six and four? Uh, reeling. Oh, reeling. Gotcha. So I, uh, let's see, this versus range, so I can't reroll this one, so I'm going to have to soak this. That's a four point hit because of hurt and reeling. No, hurt and, hurt and injured. Yep. Oh, I finally soaked two out of it, so uh, no new change except I'm. All right. And the other guy engaged with you. Six and seven. Dodged. I have shield cover. All so right. I'm going to have to retreat. Honestly, retreating is a decent choice at this point. Yes. Uh, if that's all of their turns, then we do have multiple sources to rally you, get you out of there, and then just leave. Yes. Uh, so do we want to obviate that or just like roll four different rally checks and see if it actually works? There's also a bunch of uh, downed but not dead paladins in that area. This is very true. Yeah, I'm going to say, unless they decide to abandon their murder hole, we about outnumber them two to one for range attacks here. So just staying back and shooting might be our best option.
Uh, Until they change the tactical position. They've shown we can't effectively break them in melee, but they've also shown to be ineffective shooting outside the walls with range. They could always try to aim. But uh, one of the paladins will go ahead and try to rally Nefiru just to get the ball rolling. Okay. All right. But pretty much that guarding's been the only thing keeping us... Go ahead and take two. May as well take hurt as one of them. I'll keep the reeling because I can get rid of that myself. Actually, no. uh, Let's see. uh, uh, The other one will be for afraid, I think. No, reeling. Let's do reeling. Uh, and the paladin will also guard, and then this one will try to rally his friend and get rid of his hurt, and then also guard. So they are standing by, waiting to see how this might turn out. All right. Fire spelt this guy I've been doing the whole time. Uh, Caesar on the back is just going to rest and refresh. All right, you dodge. Uh, anything in the rest of Nefir's gang going to do anything? Well, let's see, uh, Robin Dawn, I, I have, have, pardon me, have I gone yet this turn? No, this is a brand new turn, we've just rallied you so you can do things. Okay, so, uh, Rujek will try to rally the afraid off in Faru, because Coward has no benefit when you're mounted. Mm-hmm. Okay, so no more afraid. Then he's going to move back behind the uh, front line. And then the Faru will um, guard and move out of there. Uh, Let's see, it's going to be a sprint. So before I roll that, I might roll a one. So I'm gonna save my other action to run just in case. So no more, no go. And then Robin Dawn will shoot um, this guy here for Rob and the guy south of him for Dawn. So let's do Rob. And the aim die. Okay, that's a five. So they tied. Oh, it has a. Oh! As far as I know, it doesn't have cover. All right. And he's hurt. Okay, and now Dawn. Um, soak. Two of it. So just add a four. Oh, and really. Are you ready for the next one? Sure. Okay, and um, they're in. They don't have favored use, do they? They are minor characters, so no. All right.
Is it their turn? If everybody else is gone. Uh, yep. All right. These two are going to start. Re two of them in the murder hole are going to start reloading. The third one is focusing. Um, these two are actually going to start uh, moving bodies such that uh, their not dead friends are out of the line of fire. Well, actually, that one is reeling, so. And afraid. He's going to step behind the castle. And this one, uh, after some arguing with his companions, is going to stand in the doorway and guard. And that's their turn. FYI, on Robin Dawn, I forgot that they were veterans. I rolled only D8s, but I think I still hit anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'll remember it for next turn. All right. Well, it's, the, it's next turn now. Well, then... Um, Reload for Robin Dawn. And Could you drop Caesar a focus? I will. The ferry will guard and um, rally talk to Caesar. Okay, nope. Got my focus. Yeah, there we go. And Rujek will guard and um if one of us needs a uh rally then he'll rally but i don't have a second action for him just yet uh, <laughs> if i could go ahead and interrupt those actions since you did one character i'll go ahead and ready aim fire aiming is very nice and focus lets me do that And the extra D8. Oh my goodness, a hit. Only by their pure less than half luck. All right. Do you have a personality left? Uh, I do. It's kind. And while the only way I we're going to get our friend. dead out of the way is to get <gasps> this guy out of the way. <laughs> Ooh. So that's two, oh. three for critical, four, five for uh, weapon damage, and then six because he's already hurt. Five. Headshot. Dead. I'll, I'll note the two of these guys aren't actually guarding this round. That is true. Very true. Uh, so I will fire at the one that can't take cover. Wow, that's terrible. Uh, Do you have a favorite use for this spell? I, I don't think so, actually. Although, favorite. what would even be a, what would I even do for the favorite use here? Well, it's, yeah, this isn't this isn't a skill check necessarily. It's right. Well, it's a skill to cast a spell. So if you choose the particular spell that you just used, then it would be a favorite use. Just like 
you, know, you can pick my long sword as a favorite use. You can pick move earth or so. Your favorite use of dig is uh, when casting earth magic. Well, I'd go for the specific spell if it was me. Yeah, All right, usually you want spell. To... Yeah. So create earth. That actually feels pretty appropriate. So let's see, reroll one of those dice. Is that right? Yeah, or is it all the ones? Oh, all the ones? No, it's just one of the ones that you get okay. to reroll. Hey, that turned into a hit. All right. That's three so points three of damage. damage. Three damage. <laughs> so one. So reeling, hurt, and afraid. Right. Anyone else? Uh, well, the paladin can go ahead and take advantage of this and go for the spell-based backstab. Uh, he will have to ready his spell and then cast it. So I'm going to go ahead and put the castle back on him. Uh, and let's see how he does. He still only has that 2d8. 3d8. He's reeling. Ooh, very good point. Five, four, and three. Bah, ah, humbug. And it's just not enough for the laser beams to work. One, two, three. I could literally try to rush right back in and take the opportunity. And you, you know what? Get clear in one. The, uh, murder hole. True. He will be taking this. Still tempting. Uh, the paladin fights for his friends. Ah! All right. The uh, murder hole guy who uh, has a focus is going to. Yeah. But it's a snapshot, it's a so it's only a six. Ah, it still works. His shield doesn't help him. So that's three. Wait, why didn't the shield help him? Uh, because I didn't get roll over a six. Oh, okay. That's all. Uh, he soaks one of them, so down to two. Just hurt and afraid. Uh, yep. And reeling. Reeling, hurt, afraid. Uh, but he's up there and in there, while the other one's going, No, you fool! <laughs> hey, he's keeping pressure on the frayed ones. Alright. Oh, well, that's uh, Caesar and the Paladins. Uh, so... Sure, do you have anyone else? Arcoid? Well, I just, uh, oh yeah, Rujek could um, do his rally on that paladin just so he's no longer either reeling or afraid. Or sure. hurt. No, he doesn't have no, the white magic, so he's, he's just a regular rallyer. All right. So uh, I'd get rid of um, reeling. Reeling, yeah. All right. Okay. So uh, two of two of the murder hole guys. Um, Second round of reloading. Yes. And this guy is back first round of reloading. Um, which leaves uh the one guy who isn't afraid um up against the paladin who is afraid. <laughs> he is going to guard. And attack. Okay. Well, at least I'm not reeling, so let's see how 2d8 does versus 2d8. It works. 
All right. That is four points of damage. Uh, five I, points. I deflected it. So yeah, six points of damage. Um, he didn't he counter. Sold, no, one no. Of it. He didn't counter. He just... Uh... Oh. Oh, countering would have been really nice. <laughs> Too bad he can't because he's afraid. Yeah. You can counter while afraid. Okay, let's, let's roll with the counter. Wait, 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 wait. Can you? How about that? <laughs> you can't counter when afraid you because can. otherwise you'd be able to escape grapples. And you can't escape a grapple when you're afraid. I'm pretty sure you can counter when you're afraid. I'll double check. Um, okay. You can fight as a cornered rat while you're afraid. You cannot... You cannot attack, you can still counter. Okay, I got it wrong then. Oh, oh okay. Alright, so, counter timeline. Uh, so, yeah. Soaks down one. Alright, shutting is the counter. <laughs> oh, actually, that critical one, too. Ooh. Yikes, oh. okay. Uh, okay, critical is overkill. All afraid of each other. Ooh. <laughs> Oh. Fortunately, the murder holes couldn't see it. <laughs> uh, but at least it helps out a little bit. Um. Now, now would be the time we, if we had someone in the presence, to call for their surrender. Well, it's your turn. We do have someone with presence. Uh, I'm going to have the Paladins rally the Paladins first, if that's okay. That's fine. You fool, you did it somehow! Whew. He is not afraid or hurt anymore. And this one will go ahead and uh, start taking steps in, too. I join you. It is our time at last. Is that as far as he's going? It's as far as he can go. Or at least he I'm assuming he might want to keep straight. moving. <laughs> well, one action was to rally. The other action was to move at least to there. So Does maybe he, have a he stride? could. Uh, I think that was his stride. Which one's the one that just lets you move half your speed? Yeah, can you throw on the yeah, uh, dash. one afterwards? Yeah, no, normally after a um, dash, you can move your stride. So he actually probably could have moved through his friend and like around the corner towards the door. You know, anything to avoid being caught with the crossbows armed. Yeah, anything to get out of the firing <laughs> zone here. Huh. Uh, and the other one. These guys are afraid after the overkill, aren't they? Yes. Well, they were already afraid. They were already afraid. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> I'm not sure what I want to do with the other paladin yet, so I'll let everyone else decide first. Get him out of the killing zone? Yeah, that's going to be one thing. The question is, do I attack the cornered rats and have the same thing happen? Oh, this guy's reeling. So he could actually just step up here, say hello, and hit the reeling guy on his right. Because that is actually a safe move. Five and eight. Plus an extra D8 for reeling. Oh, very good point. Can't forget that. Like I do all the time. Alright, comes down to a tie. Can they claim anything? Um... I don't think so. Alright, so we're looking so at plus three. One. Four. The hurt. Soak ah. two, no changes. Okay. Well, a valiant effort. Uh, All right. So Paladin's rushing in, everyone. What are you guys going to do? <laughs> well, Ridjek and Neferi will take focus turns. Rob and Dom will reload. And Anyone else? Do I want to do something reckless? Do you? I might.
Ah, uh, you know what? What the hell? I'm gonna be stupid. Just run out past the line of fire and then get rid of the reeling that the running is. Um. Yeah, that's if you do a stunt like a run, uh, your turn ends immediately and your. Oh, okay. That's fine. I mean, but at least you're in there. Yeah. Anyone else? Uh, Caesar will go ahead and take flight again, refresh it, and end up on the tower. Or at least I think he can. Yeah, eight versus... Flying four. Yeah, if it's a stride and a, da a dash and a stride, then he can definitely make it to the tower. And just be there and guard. All right, there is. Uh, is anyone else gone? Uh, what about the rest of your gang? If you're. They reloaded and guarded. Okay, cool. So I guess that's it. All right. There is the sound of a bit of commotion and a uh, bar uh, slapping down across the door that people have been going through. So it was not already locked. <laughs> like, oh shit, oh shit. Um, and some stomping upstairs. All right, and um, these guys start banging on the door. Let me in, let me in. And that's it. All right. So just one person is joining Caesar up top, yes? Uh, he's not all the way up top yet. Okay. But you're hearing th uh, him go upstairs. Uh, Caesar is going to change weapons to his staff and then ready a spell. He refreshes as a bonus action, and that is it. All right. Uh, Paladins definitely can have their way with things. Uh, these guys are... This guy probably isn't reeling anymore. Yeah. But they don't really have anywhere to go either. Not really. Uh, so Paladin A, who's up front, is going to go ahead and just beat on this one over here. Presumably with plus two seven. critical seven. Ooh, he strikes back. Uh, so my soak is going to be I soak one point. All right. So that is two points, hurt and afraid. And reeling. And the other paladin says, no, you aren't. Stop letting him hit you. <laughs> they can't attack, so maybe I shouldn't get rid of reeling. I should just go for hurt. There we go. So he's hurt and reeling. I mean, afraid and reeling. Uh, and I guess for a second action, I could be as stupid as the first one and try the same thing. How about a seven? Mm -hmm. 
Sorry, what is this? Uh, I am slashing with my calendar sword in one of them. One action was surreal. Now it's time to uh, attack. All right, same one or the other one? Uh, not the one that's guarding. Uh, not the one that's guarding. I'm going to say All I probably right. should have had the other guy like aim or something first. I didn't think of that. Okay, so yeah. this one is actually a successful hit for three. And then add in one for her. So four. Back down to three. He's injured. All right. Kind of bold. Have you gone yet? Nope. First thing first, get rid of reeling. Then I will prepare my stand. Wait, hold on. Before you uh, spend an action to get rid of reeling, let me see something. Oh, you're going to. Oh. Would you count that as line of sight? Mm. Uh, face against a D6 cover. All right, so Reject will uh, interrupt to um, rally. Shit. Oh, well. No. <laughs> yeah. So, I've done what I've done. So, you recover and ready? Yep. All right. Um. Ah. So, uh, Dr. Caesar. Hello. Uh, we have your man. If you come in here, we'll kill him. Um, give him to us, we'll leave. <laughs> And we have but three more of yours out here, and you're dying. They could be saved if you would just relinquish your prisoner and are dying. What assurances we do we have? You have my oath as a doctor. First, I will seek to no the harm. injured and leave peacefully. <laughs> Take your paladins with you, and we will open the door. Uh, is that in order for them to, like, leave, or... Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's up to the paladins. I'm gonna say the paladins will comply, because one of them is afraid, and the other one just going, like, dude, how could you be so bad? <laughs> so they will go ahead and start making movements to let them open the door, then. Alright, there is a shunk. Um... The door opens, and um, a chestnut uh, avapoi uh, comes out, or is being held in front of the door as it opens. And then they walk him out, toss him at Cunnibald's feet, uh, and get their people back inside, shut the door until you guys leave. Fair enough. Okay. We'll gather what... <laughs> Caesar will do his medical rounds and he will attempt to save the dying <laughs> paladins and afterwards see if it is possible to save any of the dying rhinos. Amazingly enough, none of the paladins have uh, lethal damage. They're all down dying. but not out. Wow, really? Meanwhile, we have definitely slaughtered at least five of the writers. <laughs> they are sheerly unrecoverable. Good job, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>
And there's just no helping this poor snake, but he could become Boots in another life. We will have to find his next of kin. Yeah, of course, back. absolutely. The turning point was the one round where they didn't guard. Yes, because Jesus, they were effective at guarding. Veteran is a hell of a drug. <laughs> uh, shall we wrap it up there? Yeah, we're like an hour and a half over time. Definitely. <laughs> And we definitely accomplished two goals, one which was the new goal that we did, and uh, obviously the... Oh, no, we did deliver the letter last time. Okay, so we did get that goal. I forget exactly what we got for it, but... Uh, I got Streetwise for it. As did I. Oh, yeah, Streetwise. It was. You're right. You know what? Take veteran. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. <laughs> May I, so I can uh, audit this on my sheet. What was the uh, goal called? Um, reco- recover Sir Betancourt. All right. Definitely not selling that one back. I could use some aim bonuses every now and then. (laughs) Yeah, that's nice if we ever need to get into a cheesy situation. (sighs) Although as scary as this encounter was, I think that initial... um, Laser your light first... show. <laughs> no, um, in the first uh, couple sessions, I think the second session. Oh yeah, back uh... where we just like totaled all the uh, random moons <laughs> with some AOEs. No, um, back when you had the um, donkey soldier. Oh yeah, we could have just sat in front of the door and he would have dealt with everything. <laughs> That's how ridiculous that character was. Oh, we gotta use them here. I mean, I still disagree. Oh. <laughs> you two still have army wiping, <clears throat> army wiping spells. That's I true. mean, they didn't do. They took out like two guys with those army wiping spells. Yeah, in this case, these guys had at least a smart advantage of spreading out to a small degree, so that they couldn't all be hit by a singular spell. And oh, no. um, you did when I did, I think only two tower? people died. Yeah, at the top of the tower, two of them died, one of them got injured and went inside, another one blocked it entirely. Mine was less effective due to their just veteran guarding being incredible. Yeah, right. Was... Like, when I did mine, I specifically waited for them to not guard, tried to get to a point where they wouldn't have cover, and also aim. And also it got like three focuses out of other people, so that was nice. <laughs> <laughs> it took a bit to make it happen. It was worth it. Yeah. Alright, so we're calling it that session. Um, it might be a short, short session next week. Depending on how deep we go into the rest of this. <laughs> um so uh you've accomplished the uh that goal um you've got your rewards mottos and 2 XP Seems fair Sounds good let's just go through the mottos real quick for everyone I'm Kunabold Sorry it's gonna go first. I'm Kunabold Kim, and my motto is: If you haven't prepared for pa- for failure, you haven't prepared for anything at all. This I'm was, seeing... had a certain amount of failure involved. Oh yeah, Doctor Caesar. Yep, Doctor Caesar's the small. I have a cure for all ailments, and well, none of the paladins are technically dead. 
<laughs> I played the third Ben Turret, and her motto is My Destiny is Beyond Your Cat. All right, well. And so I hope you all enjoyed the session. This was I've this was a bit rough, um, particularly the combat. But how was the rest of the session other than the combat? I don't know. I, I liked it some of the most, actually. We finally got to uh, show off a little bit more, which is always fun. Yeah. yeah. I don't think the combat was too bad other than the just disaster with the snake, really. And uh, I want to emphasize is my own irritations with the power of counterattack. But, you know, otherwise this seemed pretty interesting. Yeah, I really thought we might lose Nefira there for a second. Yeah. Uh, I like the political side of it this time. It had a uh, more understandable arc and uh, understanding of what's happening and why. Yeah. Yeah, I don't it think I really motivated. conveyed what was going on last week that well. Yeah. yeah, it took us a bit to get motivated, but I think that's just, like, uh, personalities. I need someone to work off of. Like, having uh, Liz here is great because she just has energy, and I can just make things happen. And the yeah, rest of also, us were all waking up. <laughs> it also felt like you, uh, the go-to thing was, oh, let's gossip and find out what's going on. As mm -hmm. opposed to interact with NPCs. Right. Well, uh, the way I like to use the gossip is at least to <laughs> get an indication of, like, who to go to or where to go to. Like, walking up to the Metropolitan and going, tell me about your crimes. It seemed like a big dead end. <laughs> that, like, that wouldn't have been the best way to go. But eventually going uh, to the mother finding out stuff from her, going to the chapel, reading the book, got us somewhere. And so did having the paladins on our side. Yeah. I think that was more of an issue last week, just because none of the named NPCs felt relevant to the mission until we figured out what we were really doing with the mission. Or is this one, it felt like a natural, we started with gossip, and that gave us the name to start interacting with NPC. Push us in the right direction. I don't know. Right. The, the way I see gossip is as the tool to find a starting point, rather than, like, the inherent solution to anything. <laughs> yeah, that's something I hated about the first session we ran through is mm -hmm. the adventure as planned did not give anything to start with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, you're right. That was made it feel especially weird transition through that first one. All right. Well, uh, it's getting late. Um, wait, I hope you all enjoyed the game, and I'll try and wrap this up next week. All right. Catch you next time. All right. Good night.